Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Tennis in the Face. This is another one of Ten Tons physics based plat platformers, really? God brain, work with me for once. This is another one of Ten Tons physics based puzzle games and it actually looks quite familiar. I mean look at this, this is almost exactly the same as freaking, what was it? Uh, what was it? A uh, King Oddball? With its map, with its grid of things and a bunch of things you can go and do, like go and get a bunch of junior medals for a bonus level, or a bunch of bonus levels that actually have different mechanics to the main game. But we're just going to move on to the fifth of eight areas, I believe. So the idea is you are a crazy tennis player. Who got attacked? Who got addicted to this soft drink and has decided to go through the town and rid the world of this soft drink? So they introduce new mechanics every now and again, but the basic concept of the game remains the same. You aim with either the touch screen or the or the buttons. Either one works fine. The control scheme that uses the buttons is more accurate, but you can use the touch screen if you really need to be quick about it. And the idea is you throw out these tennis balls that have the ability to bounce a few times. Unfortunately, that kind of went wrong for some reason. You have the ability to throw out these tennis balls. And to defeat all of the levels, you need to... I wonder what the hell you're supposed to do here. Jeez. And to defeat all of these enemies, you have to hit them with the tennis balls. That was a really bad throw. You have to defeat the enemies by hitting them all with tennis balls, at least once. There are some enemies that require it to be done twice, but... You never know. Bloody hell, how are you supposed to defeat this level? I have no idea. Because since my stuff gets destroyed as soon as it hits that... As you can see, the bouncing in this game is kind of strange because... Oh, well, there you go. The bouncing in this game is kind of strange because... It bounces in such weird and erratic directions that it can be really hard to predict where your ball's gonna go. It's a very odd thing indeed. But yeah, the idea is you gotta bounce the ball off all these guys in order to safely defeat them. Some enemies need to be defeated in more than one bounce, and some enemies do have other mechanics. Like, for example, you saw at the beginning of this stage, the game said that we ha if we defeat all of the... If we hit the briefcases of the businessman, this is actually the first time I've seen the performance go down. If we hit all the briefcases, we get bonus points. But yeah. It's a very simple concept, and they do introduce new mechanics every now and again to keep it interesting. Just like King Oddball, because th th this is basically a twist on King Oddball. If you, if you played King Oddball, you know pretty much what you're going to get into when you see this. Not entirely sure what that was supposed to accomplish, actually. There is a quick reset with the triangle button. It's a very useful button, I must say. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to accomplish. So, yeah, most of the time you just spend time trying to figure out what really obscure bounce is required in order to actually win this game. Because sometimes it can... Just some really weird crap can happen. You'll have no idea what's going on. But as you can see, it can, it can get really, really hard to aim bounces. Purely because of just where the bounces might actually go. The game does have this sort of mobile system where... If you successfully manage to finish a level... With the right amount of balls remaining, you'll get those extra balls. And god, I'm saying balls so many times that... I'm sure some sort of audio re remixer will have a field day. But yeah, as you can see, no bloody way you can predict that sort of bounce pattern. That's an insane bounce pattern. Let's see, how am I going to get those two up there? Probably not like that. There is also score. I have no idea if score actually has anything to do with this. There we go. It is, it is funny to get headshots on people 
and watch them fall over for bonus points. That is quite hilarious. It's, it's quite fun just watching the bodies fall over. It's a lot like uh, Angry Birds. I like bringing up Angry Birds when I'm talking about these sorts of mobile games a lot because... You have to admit, for anyone who's played Angry Birds, you have to admit, it is fun watching the the structures fall over in a cacophony of chaos. I don't even know if that's the right word I should be using, but yeah, cacophony of chaos sounds like a perfectly acceptable set of words. And watching these guys fall over and... It's weird how the music stops when you're on your final ball. Oh, well, there's a heartbeat going, but yeah. It is fun watching them fall over, but not really in the same sense as Angry Birds, but it's still fun just to watch them fall ass overhead. My main problem with this, though, is that... Oh, I can earn championship medals. What are the championship medals? Good, sir. A million points in the main men... I don't even know. Defeat the Ten Tons crew, create... collect three briefcases. Okay. So yeah, there is a bunch for you to do, admittedly, but there aren't that many levels. I mean, King Oddball had, like, I don't know, about twice the levels this game does. Sure, it, a lot of, I remember a lot of levels being a lot more simple, but at the same time, it's just a little bit depressing to see that there's not as many levels on this one. God damn it, let's try that again. Nope. <laughs> Ah, that was a bit silly. But yeah, just, there aren't as many levels in this one, and so... At the beginning of this game, I've been, I've been playing for about... At the beginning of this video, I should say, I've been playing for about an hour. And I'd already been through half of the levels. So I imagine this game will be completable in two to three hours. Easy. And there is, of course, replayability in getting the three stars and all that. But... It just seems a worth a little less to me than King Oddball is. I mean, yeah, it's only got a couple of hours worth of content in it, which is a little bit disappointing, all things considered. I mean, at least it's got a demo, just like King Oddball does. Let's, let's, let's try this again, shall we? At least it's got the... At least it's got the replayability and the... Physics itself is fun, and getting the three stars is a fair bit of a challenge. For people who like this sort of thing, that is, I can understand why you might not be into this. Thankfully, there's also a free demo, so you can go play the demo if you like. I wouldn't stop you from playing the demo. I think I know how to get this last guy. Nope, that stopped me. Okay, let's try this. Oh, uh, God, I feel stupid for missing that outright, but... Oh, well. Just impale that guy with the wooden plank. Poor bastard. That, that, that freaking bounce. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Let's try another level, shall we? Thankfully, you don't need to beat every level to get to the to an, a new area. Just one of the, Just a bunch of them. Alright, let's see. But it is, it is a perfectly enjoyable game. Despite the fact that it might only last an hour or two and... Well, a couple of hours, really. It's, it, it'll last more than an hour, I know that much. The, the game's actually giving me explode, explode cans now, which will basically just explode after a few seconds on the ground and start something off. There we go. Knock the absolute hell out of that last guy's head. Jesus. It is a perfectly enjoyable time, and for five bucks, it's somewhat reasonable for a game you can put four or five hours into. Possibly. Maybe. I don't mind it. Perfectly enjoyable on its own. Just as long as you come in knowing what you're dealing with, and maybe go play the free demo. The game's like 40 megs, so you could easily just spend a little bit of time trying out the demo which you you would get in just a couple of which you can get in just a couple of minutes and then if you like the game you can just keep it around for a little bit and I mean 40 megs isn't that hard to keep around considering we don't have an app limit anymore 
And other than that one scene that you saw earlier where the frame rate dropped to hell, the game itself works perfectly fine. And really, frame rate has almost nothing to do with this game because of the touchscreen control, so it's not like it really matters anyway. So, technical performance doesn't really come into the equation on this one. But it's perfectly enjoyable, honestly. I, I quite I quite like it. For people who are fans of King Oddball, tennis in the face definitely isn't a bad proposition, honestly. It's got look, it's got some nice puzzling and it's satisfying to play, it's nice and cheap, and it's got a demo, so if you're not if you're not really sure, you can just go try the demo. Despite the potentially frustrating parts of the wow. Oh, there's still a guy alive there, damn it. That ball's not getting out of there, let's give that one more try. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh well, kind of achieved what I wanted to. Actually did fairly well for itself. It's got a bit of replay value. It's got a bunch to do. It's five bucks and it's not really offensive in a technical perspective. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to say no. I'm going to say, well, obviously this doesn't really do anything new for the sort of physics-based puzzler genre and... It's probably not going to change your mind about these sorts of games, but at the same time, it's enjoyable enough all by itself to warrant at least a look at the free demo, and... Who can say no to a free demo? Honestly, a, a 40 megabyte demo, who can say no to that? One more level and we'll call this video to an end. We'll make it this one. Let's see... This actually looks fairly complica complicated. Complexcated. God damn it, brain. Work with me, please. Okay, one down. Uh, if we bounce this off the roof, then... Nope, that wasn't going to accomplish anything. Hmm. Interesting level. I wonder. Bang, 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 bang. Nope, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, how about a lower angle? That's probably not going to work as intended either. Nope. It's enjoyable for the couple of hours it'll give you. I, I can say it that much. Although it is certainly uh, one of its one of its sort of puzzle kin. God, I hate the word kin. Nope, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Yep, had a feeling that wasn't going to go anywhere. Oh well. this was, That was a look at Tennis in the Face. It's perfectly enjoyable. Definitely worth trying out the free demo. I don't have a problem with it. This has been Blue Maxima. I'll see you all next time.